Guys, I just put on the DEF CON. What it is is an EMP protection device. It's just three wires. One is grounded to the frame of your car. Two go to the positive and negative of your battery. Why do you want this? Well, listen, listen. Well, just yesterday, there was a massive solar flare that affected the earth and it knocked out a lot of transmission lines, a lot of radios on the other side of the world. Secondly is lightning strikes. You might think that's no big deal. It actually is. And you might think, hey, my car's protected. Most of the time it is. This is just another added feature that you can add to your car. The primary reason is EMPs. So an EMP is this, when a rogue nation detonates a nuclear bomb in the atmosphere over that country, the EMP, which is the electric magnetic pulse, sends itself down and it fries all of the circuitry. Watch this very carefully. If it's frying all the circuitry, there's not gonna be any stoplights. There's not gonna be any gas pumps. There's not gonna be any cell service. There's not gonna be much of anything left, but if you are in your car somewhere, you will be able to get home. You have to understand, if this really took place, the infrastructure that you and I live under is going to be destroyed. But you would be in your car with your family or alone, and you will be able to make it home and then make the decisions, okay, to survive what's coming next. But this is very easy. It's very pricey because how it's made. It's not a gimmick. It's scientific. There's several leading manufacturers that make these. Now, I put a piece of tape on mine because um, it had a green light on it. And when you plugged it up and got it going, the green light was shining through the hood, drawing attention when I was going to grocery stores and at Walmart, because it looks like I have LED lights under my hood. When the green light is on, the thing is running. Whatever happens with an electric magnetic pulse, electricity strike, even power lines. I've heard of power lines going down, landing on a person's car, and this being able to absorb some of that to protect the occupants in the car. There are two main manufacturers of these that have really gotten the technology down. I'll put both of those links in Amazon if you're interested in looking at the prices, looking at the literature, their description. Uh, one of them has a guarantee. I felt like this was the better fit for me being the death con i liked it more um i even wrote the manufacturer and i asked him some pointed questions is this thing fully waterproof he says yes is it going to short my battery out if it gets water and he said no and, and he kind of described what takes place in this box death con we gives you more than enough wire to find a place under the hood so you're not having to um, keep it near the battery. If you can't keep it near the battery, I put mine over here, you could put yours over here. There's lots of room to do it. So it's basically plug and play. Once, it once is, it's on your car, it stays on your car. It does not drain your battery, okay? Because that was my big concern, this little LED light. It's basically a gigantic fuse box for massive amounts of electricity. They're going to go through the system, but before they fry anything, they're going to stop here. And that's what we want. I hope I never the need it, but it's there if I do, whether it's- <laughs>